Simulating the transient response of a charging capacitor in KiCad is really easy, but there is one non-obvious step that you have to follow to get it to work properly. In this quick video, I'll walk you through how to set up this charging capacitor circuit and then simulate it using KiCad. So let's fire up KiCad, open a new project, and let's just call it charging capacitor, because that's what we're doing. And then we open the schematic. I will zoom in a little bit. And now I can start placing components. So I go over to place, symbol, click where I want to place a symbol. It's going to load the library. First thing I'm going to place is the voltage source. I'll use this P-Spice one. Next, I'll place a resistor. I go back to place, symbol, place a resistor. Just need to type in R, and there will be my resistor. And then I'll place a capacitor. Type in C, and there's my capacitor. Let's wire things up. Now I actually have one more component to place, and that's the reference point. And I need to wire that guy up also. And now I need to set these components. So my voltage source is a DC source of 15 volts. My resistor is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And my capacitor is a 100 microfarad capacitor. Now I've got V question mark, R question mark, C question mark, because I don't have any designators for those components yet. I am going to use the annotate schematic and just with these default settings to give me the numbers for all those components. Next thing to do is the transient response. Tell, well, tell the simulator what kind of simulation to run. So I can go over to place graphic text, and then I can just write in some text to, to tell the simulator what to do. And since we're doing a transient response, this is going to be the tran directive. And with transient response, the first thing that I need to enter is the step size. So that's how much time between each evaluation of, of what's going on in the circuit. And the second thing I need to put in is how long to simulate for. So I don't know what values to use quite yet. Let's take a look at what's going on in the circuit here. Well, we have a 10K resistor and a 100 microfarad capacitor. We know that the time constant for that circuit will be R times C. So that's 100K times 100 microfarad. Do that in my head. That comes out to a second. So one second for the time constant. And we can consider this capacitor fully charged after five time constants. So that'll be after five seconds. But I'm going to actually run it for 10 seconds just to go well past that time that the capacitor has been fully charged. So I'm going to run for 10 seconds. My time step, I don't actually need a very small time step because I'm running for 10 seconds. So I'm just going to set it at 0.1 seconds. And then my total time at 10 seconds. Click OK. Place that on the circuit. Now Spice will know to execute this operation. Now here's the one non-obvious step that I mentioned, and that is if I go and run this simulation, it's going to assume, well, what it's going to do is replace this capacitor with an open circuit and then run the simulation. So basically what it's doing is assuming that the capacitor is fully charged. Of course, we want to see what happens as the capacitor is charging. So we want that capacitor voltage to start at zero. In order to do that, I can use the .ic directive, which sets an initial condition. And I need to set the initial condition of this node right here to be zero volts. And the easiest way to do that will be to first place a label. So I know what the name of this node is. The node has a name already. It's just something about the pad one of the capacitor. And I don't want to go and look up exactly what it is. So I'm going to give it my own name. I'm going to call this VC1. Place it right there. So that node is now called VC1. So now I can use the initial condition directive and write in the text dot IC for initial condition. I want to set the voltage of VC1. And actually, that's not quite correct. I've called it VC1, but KiCad appends a slash to that. So it's slash VC1 and an equal to zero. Place that. I could place it anywhere. I'm going to place it by the capacitor because that's, that's where the voltage needs to be set to zero. And now I should be good to go. I go over to Tools, Simulator. Here's my simulation. I can run the simulation, see things worked out properly. I'm not looking at any signals yet, so I'll add some. Let's add that voltage. Let's add the current through the resistor and let's add the current through the voltage source. So those, those will be the same, but they're actually opposite polarity because of the way that current is defined. It's defined as flowing into a positive 
the positive terminal of the device, but it's flowing into the negative terminal of the voltage source. So that's why that, that current is negative. And now if I zoom in, we'll get a better look at these signals. And I can also look at the, I can use the cursor to see exactly the values at different points. All right, to start with, let's take a look at the voltage across the capacitor. So that's the red curve right here. And right now we've got our cursor at 14.961 volts. Let's take that all the way down to zero. And then, let, then let's just watch it as it changes over time. So I'm starting at zero and then I'm increasing towards one and you can see the voltage, it's over here rising and rising and rising here i am at one time constant where i should be at about 63 percent of the full charge and then two time constants three time constants remember a time constant is one second for the circuit now at four time constants and then at five time constants where we say that we're basically fully charged it's only 99.3 percent fully charged but close enough and you can see as I increase, the voltage does indeed increase, but over the next 10 seconds, it only increases, the voltage only increases by about 0 0.09 volts, whereas the first five seconds, it increased by 14.99 volts. Uh, let's look at the resistor current. So full current, 1.5 milliamps, that makes sense. 15 volts over 10 kilo ohms. The capacitors are short at the instant that the switch is turned on, and it drops and drops and drops one time constant, two time constant, three, four, and then five time constants. And we are very close to zero amps at that point. And that's it. Now you know how to simulate a charging capacitor in KiCad. Please like and subscribe if you do that sort of thing. But more importantly, check out my website. The link is here and in the description below. There you will find how this video fits in the bigger context of an open source textbook and DC electrical circuits. And I think you'll find all the material there very useful if you're working through a DC circuits course right now. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon. And remember, stay focused, but have fun.